Urban Lakes to you. How you how you feel the vibe? Yo, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you nice and clean. Okay, 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 okay. I can see you vibing to Kwame Yuji's song, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is that is Kwame Yuji, Shatawale, and Samini. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah. That is a good vibe right there. I mean, I've been vibing to that track. He has a lot of tracks, but like a lot of people don't know. So I was like, Yo. the week, I was just vibing to this track. Fam, I want to share that to you to my Facebook though, but I don't see how I can, I can share the live video on my Facebook. What do I need to do, bro? So, so like under your, you see where there's a comment. Yeah. There's, there's one, the the one that has the question mark. Go to the next one, the one that has the arrow. Yep. Yes. When you click on it, no, that one. Okay, the one that has an arrow. I don't think I don't think it's on my side though, cause I see some some kind of em, like emoji face. The the um the question and um, what do I see? No, I don't see no. Oh, you don't see the share option. Nope, I don't okay. see. I don't see that on my end. Though. I don't know why. Okay, I mean I'm still I'm still going to go ahead and share and share with with the family right here. And I mean as as far as you've already posted it over there. I know a lot of people are right joining us. I can see a lot of them right here. So we're gonna go straight and just start keep the ball rolling. Okay. If you are cool with that. Okay, 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 fam. All right, so all viewers, we are here with your man Dalit, and a lot of you guys know him when he used to have the Rasta, but now he he has taken off the Rasta. Most of the viewers before I posted this, there's a lot of questions a lot of people wanted to ask. So we're going to start with that for the first. Why did you decide to cut off the roster? <laughs> well, you know, I did that roster for just, you know, I mean, for fashion. It's not like I'm a real roster fairness, you know. I just did it for fun. So, and probably I'll say, um, that's my, can you hear me though? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, probably I'll say that's my second time cutting off my dreadlocks. But you know, I'm so hairy, my hair grows so fast, so I can retwist it again. You know, I'm just, I'm just a, like a stylish. I braid, dread, you know, whatever I want to do with my hair. You know what I mean? So that's what I did. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, so it's like, like you, you being versatile, not like sticking to one thing. Like... No, no, I change. You know, I do whatever I want to do with my hair. You know. All right. I mean, yeah. I know after you did that, you had a lot of people asking you and a lot of people bashing you at the same time. How do you take that in the first place? Well, you know, you know, we are just human. Yeah. You can't please everybody. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I'm the one carrying the dreadlocks. So when I'm tired of it, I'm the one have the load on my head. So okay. when I'm tired of it and I want to drop it, I don't care about the next man. You know what I mean? Because he doesn't know what I feel with that heavy weight on my head, the money that I spend, you know, whatever I'm going through with the hair, you know what I'm saying? All you right. don't feel it. So I don't need their opinion for them to say, why did I cut it? If I look handsome with that, it's for me. If I look ugly, it's for me. So I choose whatever I want to do. So, hey, that's what I say. That's my second time cutting off my dreadlocks. So it's not something new. It's just I mean, due to those yeah. people. Yes, everybody has their preference. So let's go yeah. straight. We are all in the United States. Currently, where are you located now? Well, right now, you can, you, can process, you can decide not to. Well, right now, I'm in Canada right now, you know what I mean? Trying to do one or two things. Okay. If I were to be in the state, you know I'll be in the studio with yeah, you. Yeah, I know. Okay. I know. So, the reason I ask that is you've seen what is going on, the Black Lives Matter movement and stuff like that going on in the United States and demonstrations and stuff like that. Is it happening like that over there in Canada? Yeah, yeah, they're doing that Black Lives Matter stuff. They, you know, they do the same thing they're doing in, in the state. Yeah. You know, but, but probably not in my, in like, not in the city that they live. They're doing it in Toronto. Okay. Yeah, they do it here in Canada too, but most of the people go to Toronto and, you know what I mean? They do their matching stuff back and forth. And, you know, they, I, I see there's a, there's a, I think, Mrs. Saga or something. They got some cops over there. They talk about the Black Lives Matter. You know, it, it, it's worldwide thing. You know yeah. what I mean? So, I mean, based, based on what you're saying, the worldwide thing, do you think folks back in Ghana, I mean, our brothers and sisters back in Ghana doing the same thing, are they doing it wrongly or they are not doing it the right way? I'm going to be honest with you. All right. I didn't see no, well, I didn't see nobody in Ghana marching just like 
they do it here in abroad and stuff. Yeah. But I saw a video, probably I even asked a video from you that they yeah. had a funeral yeah. for George Floyd. In yeah. that, which, hey, with me, I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't give two shit, though. I have a problem with it. I'm not yeah. going to lie to you. Which, you posted a video which they say he's been hunted in some yeah. way in Ghana. Yeah. Which, there's nothing wrong with that. But with okay. me, I have a problem with it. I'm not the reason why I ask that is the stuff that we blacks go go through here, we say, okay, the white are treating us badly and stuff like that. Are they not doing the same thing to our black folks in Ghana, especially in Africa? Because the same way our black president, our black police in Africa treats black people, are they not the same, like, especially in Ghana, you see a police officer treating a truck driver, a taxi driver so badly, they slap them, take their keys, so what are they actually demonstrating about? Why they can't demonstrate the same thing in Ghana? Well, let me, let me tell you something. When you're talking about um, how police treat the truck tr drivers, the taxi drivers, comparing to the Black Lives Matter, what's going on, this one is about death. You know, somebody being shot or somebody being killed. But if you look at the, the um, with the police people in Ghana, how they treat the truck tr drivers and uh, the taxi you know, some of these taxi drivers, they are hard-headed. When I say hard-headed, you know what I mean. They don't listen. They park on the wrong side, uh, wrong side of the road. They're supposed to move. They cause a lot of traffic. And, you know, that's how they, they, they get treated in some kind of way that they're not supposed to be treated. I hope you understand what I yeah. mean. But yeah. it's not like, like, I know police treat people in the wrong way. They kill our brothers and frame their story, say they're arm robbers or, or, or whatever. They, you know what I mean? They give them bad titles and stuff. But it's, it's not how it goes like here in America or in Canada or, in, or outside the world. You know what I mean? They, in, in America, or excuse me, in Ghana, cops, the police cannot just pull you up like that. He can do it, but they barely do it. You know what I mean? Unless they mm. do it, traffic stop or whatever they got going on, trying to arrest those kind of fake cars, those Togo Togo cars and stuff. Yeah. But just don't go around like how racial profile that the cops do here in America and abroad, just because you are black, they're just going to pull you over. And You know, the, the cops, Ghanaian cops have their side too. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it's not like how it is here. We see killing here and there. Yeah. But not like how it is down there, in, you know, in America and Europe and, you know what I mean? So yeah. it's just that our police system is, is just a little bit corrupt. But okay. nothing more, nothing less. That's it. Yeah. I mean, I get your point because people were like, those those bashing a plus saying that why is he not supporting that and all stuff i mean the explanation is given yes in africa in ghana police also treat badly but i mean if you compare it here it's more like it's deliberate here mostly how they do it let's go straight into ghana music industry you be one of the biggest advocates when it comes to ghana music ghana entertainment as a whole do ghanaians especially the artists do they understand copyright issues in effect, in a general question, do they understand copyright issues? Let me tell you some, right? Yeah. Most of these boys just join music just because they want to get out of out of Ghana. Probably that's what I'll say. Most of these people have this mentality. I'm gonna do a music. When my music blow, I can get a visa and go to Europe. Oh, okay. Go and, go and do show or whatever. You know what I mean? They didn't study the music. They didn't even do a, a, a like like the business side of it you know what i mean they they, yeah. they, they, they they like they just know like oh maybe let's give me say he speaks on bars with his friends or sing to his friends and they'll be like oh shit, you can speak bass you get talent oh you can do music but they never learned the, the the business side of it they never let the advantage and the disadvantage as, as soon as somebody telling me you have talent you can sing you have voice then boom he just yes, went to the studio do music and whatever. He doesn't know. I need when I put a song over there. I need to register the song in case somebody steal the song. I can sue the. They don't, they don't know that side of it. They just do it and just put it over there. Most of the songs you see out there, they put it over there. Somebody can take the song and and remix or do the song and put it out there, and they'll be like, I'm the first person to put it out there. How did you put that? Is the song registered though? They don't they don't know that side that when you put a song on. Whatever, whatever media you put in, you're supposed to register your song. They don't have that knowledge. All they do is go to the studio, record the song, the song be mastered, they put it out there. Is that the reason why Mr. Drew 
took Rotimi's song and decided to do it on his own. Is that the reason why they are calling it stealing? But in the first place, you call that act stealing based on the explanation you just gave me. Let me tell you something. You see that that song that Mr. Drew or Mr. Drew took it, bro. Let's face fact, yeah. If you listen to that song that Mr. Drew or whatever did, and it, let's say somebody told you, oh, Mr. Drew stole a song from whatever his name is, Rotimi or Rotim or whatever, and you don't even know that artist, and they told you this is the title of the song that Mr. Drew stole. As soon as you play that song, if you listen to Mr. Drew's song and you play the song that they told you he stole from somebody, you'll be like, oh, shit. He didn't season the song. He didn't do nothing to it. He just took the song straight up. At, like, there's no difference, bro. When you listen to the song and, 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 and his song, people are like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, sometimes they tell you some people stole a song from somebody. When you listen to that song, you'll be like, yeah, yeah, oh, it's, it's similar. Yeah. But Mr. Drew, song that he stole from that dude, bro, as soon as you listen to that song, yeah, the way the melody go, everything, like, like straight, no seasoning, no. But that, I mean, but, but he said it, it. But he said it's cover. It's a cover. What do you That's mean? What, what he said. It, okay, okay. Let me tell you some. It's a cover, right? Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. It's a cover. When you, when you, let me tell you something. You know the music side. Yeah. Okay, it's a cover. I understand you. But can you take a song of mine and do without my knowledge? No, you have to consult me first. Okay, so he did him first of all. Is that how they do a cover? You do a cover of somebody's song without a person's knowledge. If you don't have, you see, most of these boys go in this music thing, they don't have the talent. I'm not gonna lie to you. Because now the people selling beats, they don't sell no music. I'm not I'm not trying to bash nobody here. Yeah. Back in the days when we used to listen to music, we listen to lyrics. Music is like a way of communication. You yeah. send message. Some music motivates people. Some music. You know, you know, I mean, like, consoles people. But nowadays, the music that they do, they're selling beat. When you listen to Davido, Whiskey, all those kind of people, there's no sense in their music. It's beat. Why? Because the youth of today want to dance. They just want to dance. Yeah. You know, I mean, back in the days when our daddy used to play uh, KK Kabobo, them, um, uh, uh, Nana Kwame Ampedu, them, you know, Jedi Blay, it was a message they were sending. When you listen to the songs about love song, it's about something. It's about hustle. It's about something. But yeah. now, how can you stand there and just listen to listen to a song? Kekun, Kekma, bro, Kekun. What we doing? We dancing. You know what I mean? How can yeah. how can you do? Now new social champagne or your zone to seal it. What is the message? We dance with kung 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 kung. Bro, with the kitty and everybody you play, just listen to the lyrics. It doesn't mean yeah. take a boo, take a picture. They can do something. I go kill you. They can say your heart boom boom boom. I go take you to boom boom boom. Hey, bro, come on, man. What are you listening at? It's just some big crime. But 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 this guy, Mr. Drew, had a management. Kilwa is, is is a producer. He has played a lot of beats and all this stuff. How did he allow this to happen in the first place? Yo, you yo, yo, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let's face yeah. it, right? You being a beat player, you make a beat or something doesn't mean. You are superior or something. They got people that play beat. They're not lyricists. They can write song. Okay. You know what I mean? They got people that they play beat. Doesn't mean he can write a song. He's just a beat player. Okay. They have some people that play beat. They don't have no years. He might play a beat. And he might play a sick beat. And think that sick beat is trash. And he might play a trash beat. And think that was a sick beat. We all got a year. Yeah. But there are few people that are listening. Yeah. There's a difference between that. Doesn't mm -hmm. mean Kewa play beat. Doesn't mean Kewa know how to write a song or Kewa is a lyricist or something. No. Okay. They are just a beat makers. They just make beats, sit behind the keyboard and play. -na 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 that's it. So, I, I, okay, so, so on, on that note, I remember the same issue happened between the, 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 the Mr. Drew guy and Kerr songs. When they released their Get song, and Kelson yep. came out and said that they stole the song. Everybody was on Kelson that, oh, because you, you, you moved from that record label, that is why you're accusing them. And that they had a whole conversation, a whole big deal. But now this happening, a lot of people are now coming back to say, oh, okay, what he was saying was true. Was that what? So as you're saying, a lot of people 
don't have the talent. Is that the reason for Mr. Drew? Or because he's just there, they have a beat for him, and he's just stealing songs, as quote-unquote people are calling him? Bro, let me let me keep it let me keep it to you straight. Right? I'm not trying to knock nobody hassle here, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, I know, I know you've been doing this from a get go. You yeah. on a, a multi TV, you on a different different TV station doing thing, and yeah. I know you know about music and you play music. You feel yeah. me? Let me tell you something, right? When you listen to these boy songs, even the love songs and the stuff, sometimes you gotta listen to the lyrics. Yeah. I tell you, most of these boys doing song because song is so common. Studio is so common. When somebody get one bed, one bedroom, you have a little place and do a bathroom and a little hand cook and say he got studio. Two this, this, this mic. Then he's playing a beat and started doing music. Yeah. So everybody that want to find some scapegoat just to be on the street and say he's hustling, said, oh, yeah. I'm doing music. I'm a musician. Mm -hmm. But then you have the talent though. No. Yeah. When I tell you something, when you yeah. go to this music thing, tell me, yeah. right? In the yeah. history of Ghana, yeah. which artist in the history of Ghana blew up with a good song and good list, good contest? You didn't lie. Apart from Bola Goose dancing song that makes them over there because the world want to dance. It's yeah. not like back in the days when Pac and the Biggie them was picking vibes, Rakim yeah. them, KRS one them, um, 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 LL Cool J them. When they were speaking nasty, them when they were coming with boss and stuff, you know, when back in the, when I take it back when Reggie Rockstone them was speeding, when Chicago and they stole them, they yeah. were going at each other and stuff. When when rap was rap, yeah. When 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 Bright of Boo back them was speeding bass. When when you know Kete K them were Kete K them. Yeah. You know what I mean? You listen to like let me tell you something. Nowadays when you listen to a song, the chorus is about money, and the person is out there singing about shadows and car. What that yeah. got to do with that? Mm -hmm. so i mean your point is made clear but i mean looking at a song like that being stolen no contact to the owner of the song and bringing an artist like stone boy i mean i'm trying to draw the line here because a lot of people are blaming so many people stone boy coming on board the guy now saying stone boy was aware stone boy is saying no i was not aware of you going to pick the song and now Bringing Stoneboy in this whole issue, do you think Stoneboy should have, I mean, done his homework, I mean, due diligence in terms of joining a song? But he was saying that, man, I was just helping the guy. I was just showing love. Do you bro, think this is the right thing? Bro, let me tell you something. Screw Stoneboy. I don't want to cast on your show, but let me tell you something, right? Yeah. That song they stole from that guy was on Billboard for three weeks. Mm hmm if I'm lying, tell him I'm lying. No, 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 no. That song has been there, yes. That song was on Billboard because that song has a controversy between 50 and that boy. Yeah. And 50 said the boy prom uh, borrowed money from him. He didn't pay. So he gave the song a limelight with the song. was on, It was on Billboard for three days. I mean, so, I mean 50, 50 normally does that to promote his staff. Because, yeah, I'm yeah, just, yeah, yeah, I'm just giving this money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So the song was there. And Stone Boy, you've been a Billboard artist. Let me tell you some. First of all, is that artist big or not? He's big. Okay. Yeah. We know him through power. Yes. And then he came out with that song, and the song was on Billboard. And you stole by being a Billboard artist. So how are you going to tell me you didn't know about that song? First of all. Or is it because Stone Boy, you be on a Billboard, you never been from 1 to 10. You were from 10 going to 20, 20 going down. So you couldn't see the people up there. So you didn't know about that artist. Come on, man. He knows about it. He doesn't want to accept the fact. That's why he said, oh, he didn't know about it. So, yeah, he do know about it. So, 100. Stone Boy is a liar. All those people, you see them over there, they know about the song because the song was big. If I could know about that song, how are you going to tell me Stone Boy doesn't know about the song? No, right. It's in the industry just the same I am. Yeah. So, he's trying to take away the blame and the shyness and everything that's going to come to him. Yeah. You know what I mean? In case, okay, let's say the guy want to sue, right? Yeah. Then, okay, no, I'm not part of it. Not part of it. Yeah. First of all, Drew don't have no money. Okay, the guy going to be like, who is Stoneboy? Okay, so oh, Stoneboy is big. He's a billboard artist. Yeah, he, he has money. So if I'm going to say, okay, screw them, screw these people, I'm going to get money from this guy. So what, what will I do for me not to be in this? I don't have no money. I, mm -hmm. I, I don't know anything about the song. Yeah. I have to deny this guy. 
just like Judas did to Jesus Christ. But um. <laughs> before the boy brought that song to the studio for Stoneboy to record, most definitely is going to tell Stoneboy, this is the song that I want us to do the cover of it. Yeah. I mean, the guy, the guy on Hit Radio said yes, he said that. <laughs> Yeah, but a stoneboy on live radio said no. Why did he know that? Bro, I can I can bring I can bring something to you. And if I bring a song to you, Rana say I want you to jump on it. I will tell you I have a beat from Kamenya, JQ, uh, uh, JQ Hammer. Yeah. I want you to jump on it. I will tell you who the beat is coming from. Yeah. If the boy is not so, I have a boy from this. I have a beat from this. My boy called So So and So Urban Mix. So I want you to jump on. So most definitely, Stoneboy knew that song was from yes. that dude and he jumped on it if you listen to the lyrics he know the shit that gonna have some place he knows that the shit that gonna happen why <laughs> bro bro come on, man. this is logic man this is why yeah. they back me because they know when i'm hitting on it i go straight to the point yeah if mr drew know about the song are you stumble gonna tell me you don't know about it so bro you you know about it but 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 the, the the guy who actually people call him snitch, do you think he's snitch in the first place? Being a Ghanaian and I mean you call him Rotimi and say that oh man, some guys are stealing your song and da 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 for, for Rotimi to take action. Did the guy do a good work or no? I mean people are cursing the guy, insulting him, threatening him for doing that. Let me ask you something. Do black life matter though? They do. Okay. So they say, love your neighbor as yourself. So if you mm -hmm. see somebody stealing your neighbor, you need to tell your neighbor. So that okay. was the snitch. Mm -hmm. He's trying to bring the talent to you. So when, okay, fine, the guy just told on you. Well, whatever. So for you to prove the guy, you have to bring out something, let the guy know, okay, I can do this. I just stood to do it. It was a mistake and this shit happened. He, he came out with a song with Calvin Boyd. The mm -hmm. song is not bad. Yeah. You know what I mean? But hey, come on, man. If you don't have no talent, music, I tell you, music, most of these people, they just want to leave just like uh, uh, Exo and Chicago had a chance to go to America and Canada. They run and they stop doing the music. That's the scapegoat for these boys, man. They want to get the money. They want to travel around and shit becomes shit. They'll join us here, start washing bowls and shit just like we're doing. That's the whole shit, bro. It's not like they have the talent. But listen. So people should leave the guy who actually... Call snitch. They should leave him alone. Because it? okay, so the guy is saying that he is doing that to prevent people. I mean, the big artists stealing song from, especially the underground artists, because no. this is happening in Ghana all the time. They be stealing song from a gaggle. It's not today, bro. Yeah. So they still lyrics. They don't steal the song. Yeah, I can pinpoint some of the Stone Boys and the Shatawales and those kind of people. They still lyrics. Those rappers. They still lyrics from people. Some of these rappers go into these under American underground rappers that people never heard of them, that they have bars and shit, and they take that thing and twist it. All those sack here, the, man, they're still, they still line and twist them in the local way, bro. So it's not something new. What the guy did, well, I don't have no problem. I, I don't have no pride. That's not snitch. God said, said, say the truth, and the truth are shared to free. So he just said the truth. That's what he did. He didn't snitch. He said, hey, you stole a song from this person. Hey, this guy stole their song from me. Period. That's it. And this is what you have to do. You have to know they took the song. Most of the copyright going to go to the guy. Mm -hmm. you know that. Yeah. So he saved his ass. There's nothing wrong with that. And that gave him a controversy and that brought an eye on him. So you should thank the God the guy did that. Because people wasn't even fucking with the Drew guy like that. But that brought yeah. him a lot of attention and he brought a lot of eyes on him. So he should rather appreciate it and say thank you for whatever snitching or whatever. But, but some people are also saying, I mean, this is not the first time Nigerians are taking action against us. But they've been stealing our song, especially we see so VIP. When you watch it, um, they've been stealing songs. They stole songs from, no, 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 no. from, from uh, uh, I mean, Tech Tech. And I mean, they've been stealing songs. So why is it Ghanaians not doing anything? But this time around, they are hitting us when we no, take no, that song. That, that, the video song you're talking about, he talking about VIP. Uh, 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 sorry, uh, not the video, rather. Um, whiskey. Whiskey. He talked, yeah. to, he talked to VIP. He compensated them. If you like, ask them. I mean, but when the song came out, they said nothing. I mean, Tic Tac, same song. We uh, a two let, last me song. Tell let me tell you something. Tic Tac, frustration, eh, Kuno. Forget Tic Tac. Tic Tac, Tic Tac, or oh, no, no, on the Tic Tac, we talent Tic Tac get. 
that time TikTok was doing some yeni mbiye ya o ana ho 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 he no be basaram is started to start still that time when i know open you listen to TikTok in lyrics now if you can't play the song you see the be body me must i make you make me think who still TikTok is on who still up if 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 is let me tell something about Ghanaians. If I play beat like boom, pa pa, boom, pa, where you two can play beat, boom, boom, where you put pa pa, because my beat go boom, pa pa, boom, pa, where you, put, you play beat, boom, boom, where you put pa. So if you put pa, meaning you still my team because me the pa day my beat inside. So as far as you do the pa, you be my team. You understand me? Yeah. There's some terms where they use say uncle to put what, uncle to put what. You know, be I hear for somebody more for. Okay. But that's the way I hear for him off. People don't know I'm like that. So, so now I can they use Anko Tokutuat, people figure say the word it be me my own. But the reason why the Anko Tokutuat, you know, I don't give the boy credit to say the boy, you know, be social media inside where, where like, you know, be Facebook where I hear the thing from. Yeah. You know, I said, I talk to somebody for full talk. Where the boy tell us, so I did, I'm on the phone with Darlington. Where the guy says, say, who be, who be Dalit? to? We say, oh, Dalit. We say, hey, that guy for Facebook, some slave boy. Yeah. Where boy can't take the phone now. We say, boss, why they love you like Anko Tokutuat? Then he can, he, yeah. You see, the thing was funny. I don't know the meaning of Anko Tokutuat. So I tell the boss, so what be the meaning of Anko Tokutuat? We say, like, like, excuse me, say, like, motherfucker. <laughs> so he loved me like a motherfucker. So there I'll be like, oh, okay, Anko Tokutuat. Since they have started using the word, and the word, people know the word. But I took it from a boy. If I know the boy, he's on social media, I will give him yeah. a tap. I'll be like, okay, shout out to this guy for his word, Uncle Bad. The boy. Yeah. You know they be social. You know they Facebook and he watched my video on somebody's phone. You see. So it's about time, actually, for all that you say, it's about time Ghanaian artists take things serious. They've been original. Because this incident has actually happened between Kweku Smoke and Shatawale when. Kweku Smoke came out and said, hey, you know what, Shatawale stole my song, da 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 It came to a point that even Shata had to send his voice to beat him up. And it, it like, the big boys always bully the small guys, the underground. I mean, not everybody's an underground, but until you get to that limelight, it becomes very difficult. Bro, that terms they fighting over court on them, on them is me, it's my term. Yeah. I am the owner of on them. So I don't know why Shatawale and Koku Smoke fighting on the term on them, on them, or whatever. It's mine. And I don't care who's using it or whatever. Okay, he stole my song. He stole my song. Sometimes you'd see Ghanaians. I don't even know how Ghanaians think. So you heard the story, right? Where Shatawale yeah. beat Koku Smoke and everything. Joe and Koku Smoke went and sat on the radio or whatever. He and Nana Buru, I heard it. They were talking, ba 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 ba. I could do him. This yeah. is what I said. I could do him. If this thing, it be serious, why you don't know police station? Mm -hmm. Master, Facebook hype, and I say, and hey, you go jab this thing, you go jab this, you go jab this. Master, be only them two of them, only them they studio. We don't know the truth side of the story. If you be wow. book in song, if you be shut a in song, yes, we will know. Stone Boy do the same thing to Rashid Metal. Rashid mm -hmm. Menta released a song, Bafira. Bafira was popping, was giving the boy a little bit lamb like, and Stoneboy took the terms, which Rashid Meta. everybody know Bafira was for Rashid Meta. Stoneboy mm -hmm. took it and ran with it with Sarkozy. And he didn't give a props to uh, Rashid Meta. And that ended up to be a bitch. That while it talked about it, and Rashid Meta went off and started insulting, you know what I mean? Yeah. He start, started insulting Stoneboy, and he went to a different level. It's like that. Those people that they get a limelight, they always don't want to see the little ones eating. That's why Ghana music is not moving forward. And the media is part of it. Mm. When you listen to those underground boys, they have too much talent, but the media don't support them. Because why? The radio station think, oh, me na me be buwano, me bo ni nyom, na obe ye famous, na obe jina se or treasure no ho tre. You see? But I mean, that. so 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 with this issue that you just brought up, is yeah. that the reason why now there's a beef, big beef going on between Joint 77, I mean, the ex-militant guy and Shatawale? I mean, what happened actually yesterday was so bad in the sense that Shatawale had an argument with Joint 77 on, on live radio, sent police 
to attack him, to collect his car that he bought for him. I mean, all this thing going on with, between them, do you think it's because they don't want those underground artists to come up because they know they, some of them have talent that if they allow them, they can be big more than them or what? Bro, you see, sometimes we, 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 we the people, when I say we, you and I and the people that are watching and yeah. whatever channel, we, we, we are the problem. Not those artists. Shatawale said those boys don't have talent. Before mm. you, you, you are about to sign them, you saw you the weapon. Don't have talent. Bro, how can you how can Real Madrid go sign Eden Hazard or, or, or Cristiano Ronaldo if they've never seen him playing? Before you sign the artist, you already know what he or she can do already. Before you went and signed the artist. So from when to where you find out that these people didn't have no talent. They've been with you like a 10 good years or something. Yeah. And it's today that you know they don't have a talent. Yeah, matter one year and, year, and it, even a, a day for you to go in a month. Mm. Or excuse me, a day to go to days to week, weeks, a month. It's not easy. Yeah. For, for you to leave them and then do 12 months to become a year. Now for two years. Now I say, now you realize that after 10 years, rather these people don't have a, a, a talent. Come on, man. There's a fight in the mountain, man. There's something in this shit. Yeah. It doesn't make no sense. So, Atmas here. Yeah. yeah. We all know. Yeah, we don't need to tell you. We don't need to sit here and talk about Shadow Wale or whatever. We know who he is already. A man who has never, never in his life done wrong before. From who and who. If Shadow Wale comes and takes your microphone from you and he's using it, he say, I need my team back. And you take it, you tell him, okay, give me an hour. You said, no, you have 20 minutes. And you give him that 20 and you take the thing back, he's going to be mad at you. And he's never wrong. He doesn't think about that hours that you gave him that microphone to use. Mm. But that, that one hour that he wanted to use extra that you didn't give him, now you a bad person. You know what I mean? So yeah. with that kind of thing, the Wale, he never been wrong. Always he's right. Always he's good. Always he's dead. Man, we know that dude, man. From whoever he started with to today. But I don't blame him. I blame those followers that follow him. They took his fight and put on their head. You saw the time he was disrespecting those artists. They were there. They were the backing vocalists. Mm. When they say this and you don't hear it, Shatawale says something and you, you don't hear it well. They are the one that backs it. Oh, you didn't hear what Shatawale said? Shatawale said so, so, and so. The backing vocalists. Oh, being brave, now my brave good. Oh, you know, yeah, my brave good. They don't go shout for you to hear, say yes, my brave good. Now, the table 10. That's how it is. You know, this person is fake and you keep on supporting him. What else do you expect? It happens to them. That's why nobody fighting for them. So, I mean, when we joined 77, so far after he left, I've not seen him, even all his live videos and everything, I've not seen him saying anything bad about him. But what actually happened actually right now is for Shatawale so getting mad is Joy just signed a new deal with Cash Records. And it's so painful to the extent that Shatawale don't even want to hear that he even has a new song. He said, oh, the song is not even nice. Even after they played it on live, everybody was praising the song. He said, no, it's still not good. I mean, is he trying to be selfish or anything? I don't know. Because I was watching and I'm like, no. I, in the first place, you said this guy has no talent. You signed him for five years. And now he's gone. You sacked him. And in the first place, the reason why he sacked him, he's saying he went to an embassy without telling him. Is that part of the management or is it part of the deal for his personal travel or anything? I just want to know because I don't know how it works. You see, you see, sometimes it's, that's what I'm saying. Some people, excuse my language, they're dumb. This is what people need to understand, right? Yeah. Apart from your job or whatever, mm -hmm. you have a life. Yes. You sign to somebody doesn't mean you own his life. He has his own personal life. It's not necessary everything you need to tell to the management. Yeah. You know, you know what I mean? So yeah. join 77 cent go to American embassy without telling you. Yeah. It shouldn't be a big issue, a big deal or whatever. You know what I mean? And whatever yeah. they have going on and he's trying to take his car or whatever it is. I've never seen that before. I never heard. I don't know if it's part of the contract. Yeah. I don't know if it's part of the contract when 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 
you don't work with me anymore. I need to take my car or I need to take everything that I give you, which I don't even know. Yeah. Because the contract involves a lot of things. We don't know, but we yeah. just judging from what we heard or what we seen. So well, whatever happens that he want to take the car to me is wrong, which is, which is, is not fair. But hey, we know what, this is not the first, and that's what I'm saying. Like everything Shatawale has been doing or is doing, it's not something new. We all know about it. You know what I mean? Like he, I don't know if he's using Moses' law or which law is using. Only God knows. <laughs> yeah, I don't know the law that he's using because if you, we, we all listening to him was like, my God, I believe in God. I believe. So I don't know where in the Bible or in the Ten Commandments that say when you do good for somebody, you need to you go, and go and take it back, back, whatever. And I always make it clear to people. If you help me today, bro, the help that you gave me was from God, but it's not, not from you. you. That yep. is that blessing. You didn't help me, bro. It's God that helped me, but the blessing came through you. So when I tell you thank you, bro, it's not it's it's done deal. It has, because you gave me money today. I'm hungry. God said my food will be coming from you. So yeah. as you fed me to be there today, and I ate. Doesn't mean tomorrow if I have my rice and you ask me, which I don't have the power to give you, I have to give you. Maybe your food is not in my hand. Your food yeah. is in somebody's hand. So yeah. if you refusing, that will make somebody help you. Mm. You know what I mean? So people expect when you do good for somebody, the person is supposed to do good for you back tomorrow. No, that's why a lot of people's feelings get hurt. But it, 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 it's Shatter always just abusing the word, oh, I believe in God, and da, da, da. Is he just using that as a fallacy in the first place? Yeah. Like, yeah, it's like a pastor. Shatter is like a pastor. You see, pastor, he always tell you, and God this, and God that, but he's killing you slowly. Pastor tell you, give your money to God, and God gonna be, you're going to have house in heaven. But he got a big, big mansion, and you don't even have no house in heaven. He's driving Ferrari and Rolls Royce. And you you picking up trot trot and, and you can't even pick up Uber, but he tell you the money that you be giving to the church, God gonna bless you with it. Meanwhile, he's enjoying buying all this kind of stuff. That's how Shatawale is. If it doesn't go in favor of him, nobody. Yeah, you have to give it. I'm supposed to be the one getting it so that you have to get it. No, I don't want you to get it and give it to me. No, I have to have it so that you get it. That's how that guy is, and that guy is using his brain. From a gego. Mm. I mean, from but, a but I mean, I, I remember when he signed these guys, and people started talking about, you know, these guys have talent, but it looks like they are just being timid, following him, and they were like, "You are being followed back, so it's about time you guys get something going." I mean, the same guys were saying, "No, no, no, it's a, it's the right time. We have to wait and da 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 da." So. It's like that is the reason why a lot of people are not fighting for them because they are the same guys said all sort of things whilst people are complaining that you know what you guys are good you need to go ahead and do something for yourselves. No, let me tell you something. You see those guys, they don't even know themselves. If they are dancer artists or they are hip hop artists, they have, they don't even know who the hell they are at first. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And second, Shatawale is the one that plays the beat. Mm. Shatawale said he's doing dancehall. How can you sign to a yo? How can a, 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 a hip hop or, or hip life artist sign to a dancehall artist, mm. bro? Our lane, even though we all doing music, but your lane and my lane is not the same, bro. I hope you get what I mean. I get, I get it. And my lane is not the same. Now yeah. you, you you okay? I'm a rap artist and I'm signed to dancehall artist. Dancehall artist, their beat is different. Mm -hmm. Their style is different. You know what I mean? And yeah. when these people, they don't even know who they are, and they sign to this guy, and this guy plays his own beat and stuff, and when he was beefing people, they joined the beef. Mm -hmm. and now, well, this is this is their weakness. They don't know who they are. They don't know their talent. They're doing dance or they're doing hip-hop or they're doing whatever. So yeah. when he comes with, they say, we're going to this channel, they follow that channel. Yeah. For them to sit down, to, to find yourself, to know yourself, to know this is the channel that we want to go, we want to do. Okay, fine. Like John mm. 77 Cent, he's a rapper. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay, fine. You were a rapper. The kind of beat that Shatawale been playing is not a rap beat. Yeah. 
So you can you can sing. Shatawale can't even sing. He used auto tune. You know what I mean? You can't sing, and you are not a hardcore rapper. You are that kind of soft rapper. So okay, fine. I'm signed to SM. There's a lot of engineers out there that I can work with. They can give me beat and record it and run with it. But they always sit in there expecting Shatter to play a beat for them. They want Shatter to do this for them. Shatter to do that for them. That is why they, they couldn't even blow. And Shatter was talking about Kwame Eugene, Kwame this thing. Kwame Eugene and all those people were signed to Lynx Entertainment. And Lynx yeah. Entertainment was by Richie. Richie is a singer. And he said, yeah. singers. So he can, he can actually direct them and connect yeah. them. He play beat and he's a singer and he signs singers. How can I how can I be a soccer player and I go I, 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 I and somebody play basketball and I sign the basketball player then how what, what what knowledge do I have? What am I gonna tell that person? Mm -hmm. My story is different. Yeah. So you sign him artists that you don't know if they are doing dance or or they are doing hip hop or they are doing this thing, they are doing that. And you expect mm -hmm. them to blow and you expect yeah. them to like what do you want them to do? What else do you want them to do? You play your own Konko beat. Most of your beat is not even well mastered. And it was, and you, you even shut the wall. If it's not controversy and that kind of stuff, lies and always want to be in the media with this kind of fake life, you didn't even make it to the limelight with like music, music. Hmm. Because most of you, it's music that made it to the limelight. It's handful. We can count them. Hmm. But if you go to the record, he has released more than 500 songs. Yes. But if we're going to call the hit songs, it's handful. We can count them. So tell I us. Mean, for, for our viewers watching, I mean, we are here discussing about Ghana music, Ghana entertainment. It's not about particular artists. We've spoken about a lot of artists, Dr. Drew, Mr. Drew, all artists. And now we are on Shatawali. We have about five minutes. I mean, uh, uh, Instagram Live. For the first 55 minutes, we'll go off. So when we go off, please stay with us. We'll come back within like two minutes. We'll just switch back and come back. So if you're watching us, if you see us go off, we are not done. It because Instagram Live, you have to go off and come back. So we are still discussing Ghana music, Ghana entertainment as a whole. Not a particular artist, not a particular people. We started, if you're not joining us, it's Urban Mix. We have a full version of this interview. It's going to be on Urban Mix TV on YouTube. So you can go there. And even Darlington's Facebook page is also going to be there. So if you're not joining us, when we go off, we are not off. We're going to come back and, and we'll continue the whole thing. So yes, Darlington, you can go ahead. I was just giving them a question because we have like five minutes to go up. So you can just go, go continue with what you were saying. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. They, they, you see, in everything you, are, you, you want to do, even in soccer or whatever, you need to find yourself first before mm. you can be yourself. Yeah. If you don't know who you are, you, couldn't, you don't know who you are. A little kid from somewhere can even tell you whatever he or she want to tell you because mm. you don't even know who you are. Yeah. You know? It, it, it's just like you driving. You know, when you're driving with, with let me, excuse me to say, you're driving with somebody who doesn't even know how to drive, or you're driving with a girl who doesn't even know how to drive. When you're driving, it's nice, but as soon as you fall into a portal or you put your car in the gutter, and then you're going to see the female trying to tell you how to drive. Mm -hmm. But she doesn't even know how to put, to, to put the ignition. Yeah. Because why? You don't even know that that's how it is. As soon as you fall into love with problem, they're going to say, oh, I said, oh, yeah, you see. I said, it's like spectators. They always back, say, play away, we were born, I can't saw born, you see. But when you put him on the field, he can't even yeah, no. pass. That's how it is. If you don't find yourself, you don't know who you are. Every day, people are going to be telling you. They think they know. Oh, you say, and then you have to do this, you have to do this. But I'm running from them, put it for them, you can't even do it. So all these kind of boys, you know, before you want to do music, you want to go into music, you need to have your own plan before you can just jump in it. You need to draw your plan very, very well and know from, from today that I want to be in the studio to two years or one year to come or this thing. This is the target that I want to hit. This is the channel. This is the this I want to go. Mm -hmm. And you can start doing music. Anything you start doing, you need a fan base. You need to build a fan base. If you don't have a fan base, bro, Everything you do, you can put a good content of stuff. Nobody gonna because who are those people gonna? You don't have that fan. Yeah. So everything start with fan base. I don't even like Instagram. 
You see how many views we're watching? If we're yeah. Facebook, it's, a, it's gonna be knocked out. Numbers, yeah. I don't like Instagram. People yeah. let me go on Instagram, do this. I don't like Instagram. I don't know. Because, like, let me tell you something. I do my Facebook live mm -hmm. when, when I'm kind of bored. Yeah. Or, or don't have something. You know, when you, when you check it sometime, it's going to be like a month, weeks without yeah. coming live. That's yeah. When I become busy. I have to do my pump to make my money. But then yeah. when, when, when I'm bored and everything slow down and stuff, then I'll be like, let me go on Facebook Live because I have a lot of followers that want to listen to me. Yeah. Then boom, I go over there. And they love me. And they know yeah. I'm the king of course. I said, we're talking whatever. Like, no filter. Yeah. You say, we say. We say how it is. We don't bite our tongue. We don't do nothing. They don't know about the music. Yeah. They, they, they need me. They need me. I, I'm the one that spice the Ghana music. Like, I meeting me in Chinini Moko, like Stacky's new Credro, the Chick Crano. They don't, they, don't, they don't know the music. They, I'm on steady. And they, listen, I always tell you before before we go up, let me tell you this thing. Yeah. My house, where I grew up in Adabraka, the first record label in Ghana is called You Name It. Most of these boys, they don't know. It was in front of my house, my grandmother's house. The store belongs to my grandma. The first record label in Ghana is called You Name It. I'm pen, I'm cassette. That's the only people that cut that, that, that was cassette season. Um, yeah. they, if people go do concert party, um, um, cassette, you know? every artist in this world, from Amachi Dede, Daddy Lumba, Santo, yeah, yeah, from concert party to, to, to musicians, um, 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 that when I was little, mm -hmm. Daddy Lumba, Danai Champon, you name them. That's what they say, you name it. Um, 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 before this Aji code, Zabmalet, Niri, Despite music, it was only you name it. At the brother, ask anybody. Ask VIP. Ask book back them. I'm going to try to cassette. I'll be in trouble cassette. People try from Kumasi. You know, you know, I'm going cassette. Now, you know, this is case. No more. Machine, you know, this is a case. You know, you're a pal. You know, you're a box. No more. You know, you're a car. So they don't know the music. They never study the music. I'm going to say everything's about radio. No. Music now, you know. Industry na yeshi. Unko kwa no baby I do not move to pass ya sem na nyasa anga pata passu ya musician. You did please. So much my God. If the show starts. All right, so we was honestly we have we have like thirty minutes more, but right now our time is up for the first half. We're gonna end this, so please just stay with us. Don't go anywhere. The best is yet to come because we are now going to go into the beef between pata pa and now. Article 1 and Lewin. So please stay with us. We're ending this section and we are coming back. And please come back with us so that we can fire more. I mean, Darlington is here. You know him. We are not changing the gears. We are not going to go raw in the next 30 minutes. So prepare your questions. That is where we're going to do Q&A action. You're going to ask your questions and I'm going to put it to him so that we can finish it up. So stay tuned. We're coming back in the next one minute as we end this section. Thank you all for being here. Right now you're into Urban Mix. Make sure you stay in tune with the best.